Hello and welcome. Today, let's take a full look at Xshot's Hypergel HPG 700. The HPG 700 is the flagship of Xshot's new Hypergel line. It's claiming 200 feet per second, ships with 20,000 rounds, and it looks pretty interesting. So let's jump right in. Now included in the box is of course the HPG 700 itself, the barrel extension, the stock, the 700 round magazine, eye protection, 20,000 rounds, a reload canister, the rechargeable lithium ion battery, the charging cord, and the instructions. Now let's go over the blaster. First off, you're definitely gonna want to install your battery. This right here is the battery door, and underneath you'll see this arrow pointing backwards. You pull it backwards, and this entire panel comes off. Then of course, you're going to want to connect your battery. As far as putting the battery back in, you have a lot of room, and I feel like they put quite a bit of thought into this. I really appreciate that. Up on the top of the blaster, we do have a Picatinny style rail, and on it, we have the included front sight piece, but the rear piece is actually built into the blaster. We also have three more Picatinny style rails, one on the right, the left, and the bottom. Now, if you look right here, we actually have this switch, and the really interesting thing about this is it's going to regulate your power, which is super cool, and we'll definitely check that over the chronograph. Now, looking at the left side of the blaster, we have our firing switch. Now, in the most forward position, you are safe. In the next back position, or the middle position, that is semi-automatic. Then in the completely rear position, you're in full auto. Now looking at this stock, it is quite comfortable, though it is not adjustable. And while yes, it is a removable stock, it is using a completely proprietary system. So this is going to be your only option for a stock. As far as the barrel, it really is just there for cosmetics. You have a couple different styles that you can use depending on your preference. Now right in front of the trigger, we have this big orange thing. That is actually your magazine release. The included magazine holds 700 rounds, and similarly to a lot of these other gel blasters, you have this slide right here that you pull out, and you can load it very simply. As far as the ergonomics, I really like them. Even though the stock is not adjustable, it's still a very comfortable blaster. And like a lot of these recent X-Shot blasters, I do absolutely love this paint scheme. Very intricate, excellent color separation, phenomenal stuff. As far as the build quality, we know X-Shot, so typically we would expect much lower quality plastic. But honestly, overall, as far as their blasters go, this one feels like one of the most high quality ones they have made. Like when I'm holding the grip and shouldering the blaster, it feels very sturdy. The only thing I really do have a problem with is this battery tray up here. Most of the time, you're gonna wanna use this as a foregrip, but it is quite wobbly, like significantly. While I really like the ease of taking this off to get to the battery, it definitely hinders the quality of just how sturdy it feels. But again, besides this right here, I am actually pretty impressed with the overall quality for an X-Shot blaster. Now let's take this thing outside, put it over the chronograph, and test these different power levels. So we will be firing the included X-Shot gel rounds, and as far as the power regulation goes, in the most forward position, that is actually your weakest mode. Then if you move to the middle, that's going to be a little bit more powerful, and then all the way to the back is going to be your highest power level. So we are going to get a six-shot average in each power level, starting out with the weakest level. 149, 154, 162, 158, 154, and 158. So that performance is not too bad. Let's switch it to the next level. 187, 181, 175, 181, 183, 179, and 175. So yeah, that's pretty cool. We got bumped up around 25 FPS, so uh, I'm very happy with that. Let's move into the most powerful level. 201, 203, 216, 204, 205, and 206. So yeah, moving this into the most powerful level exceeds the box claim of 200 feet per second. I'm very happy with that performance and I really love the versatility. Now let's fire some shots downrange.
very impressive. In the semi-automatic mode, we are incredibly responsive. Every trigger pull is around and it keeps up with a very high rate of fire. And then in full auto, we're getting very snappy performance. And I haven't noticed any change in the rate of fire switching the power levels. Now let's head back inside and I'm going to share my final thoughts. So what are my final thoughts on the Xshot HPG 700? All the features and the performance that you're getting at the price point of $50 US is simply incredible. The 700 round magazine is a great capacity and feeds very reliably. The full auto is super quick. The semi auto is snappy and responsive. I really like the way the battery door is designed, even though it is a little bit loose. The switch that modulates your power level is super cool. As you saw in the chronograph data, we can hit any anywhere from 150 to over 200. That is definitely not an option that every full auto gel blaster gives you. So should you consider picking up this blaster? Now I'm going to say this is really going to come down to preference and the features that you want in a gel blaster because we've gotten a lot of very similar blasters in the space and I'm certainly not going to argue that this is a better pickup all around because we have a lot of other fantastic options as well. A big one would be the Gelzone Pro Kratos. It is only 20 more dollars than this blaster and has a significantly higher plastic quality, still a very high rate of fire, higher performance, and you also get glow in the dark rounds with that blaster. So the Kratos is still very compelling and in most situations, I would recommend that over this blaster. Simply because of the higher plastic quality, FPS, and the fact that you're getting the glow in the dark capability. The bottom line is, the pricing for this thing is really great, and it's a phenomenal way to get into the full auto gel blaster space. And with it, you're getting an amazing looking blaster, really incredible ergonomics, and a great value. Also, this power regulating system makes this thing much more versatile than something like the Kratos. So well done Xshot, I really do like this blaster and I think overall it was executed very well. If you're interested in picking this blaster up for yourself, I will have the link in the description. Thank you very much for watching, I'd love to hear your thoughts on the HPG 700 in the comments below, subscribe for more, and happy blasting!